Hi everybody, back again. Um, what I'm going to do is cook a recipe that I cooked last year. And it was a really great recipe. Why I've never revisited it, I have no idea. This is the problem with creating recipe after recipe after recipe. Sometimes you forget to go back and have a look at the ones that you've already done. This was a really good one. Um, it makes a great family meal. It makes a great one for the weekend. And it will also batch cook and freeze well. And the reason I can't show you this live is because it takes a little time to reduce the sauce down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook it for you nearly live, and then you can watch it, have a look, and see how you feel about cooking it yourself. So let me show you how far I've got so far. So what we've got on my chopping board looks like quite a lot of things here. Two chicken breasts, an oxo cube, a chicken oxo cube. I'm gonna use half an onion. I'm going to use half the zest of an orange and half the orange juice. The original recipe asked for fresh ginger. <laughs> I, I'm too late in the day for that. And it asked for fresh garlic. If you want to use fresh, feel free. I'm up against it, so that's not going to happen. I've got ground coriander. I've got some cumin and some mild chilli and some turmeric. And that is basically the whole set of ingredients for it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit ahead of time. And I'm going to let the, the chicken sort of marinate for a little while, if you like. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut the chicken into strips. Now, you can use diced chicken. You could use chicken thigh. You can, you can use whatever part you want of the chicken. This was all I had. So first things first is let me just wash my hand and as you can see there's some fat on this chicken which I don't want so I'll just get rid of that quickly it's nothing too much to worry about but again you know cook the chicken how you want it to be cut I'm just going to go for really sort of long chunky strips on this one that I'm then going to cut in half because if I do it this way what it will mean is that it will actually cook quicker so now you can see why I was saying use whichever part of the chicken you want diced or you know um, chicken fillets it doesn't really matter so I'll get yeah and get all of those into the bowl first And as you can see, my knife chopping skills are fantastic. Not. Okay, so chicken is cut. And what I'm going to do is just quickly wash my hands. The joys of cooking live. Let me get that out of the way. And let me just swap this over and I'll come back to that board in a minute. So we're getting to the crux of it really now of where we need to be. And what I'm going to add first is some coriander and I want two teaspoons of coriander. So two teaspoons of coriander. Oh, yeah, didn't we just know that that was going to happen? That's ground coriander. And we want two teaspoons of cumin even. Again, this is ground. This is a really, really, really easy recipe to make. You know, it's one of those that you can just throw it away, throw it all in the bowl and get it done. And this is the, the one where you can sort of adjust the flavor in. This is only mild chili. You know, it asks for two teaspoons, but as always, if you're not happy with it, then maybe it's just put in a little sprinkling just to give you that little bit of a hum in the background. As you can see, mine doesn't want to come out. So there we go. And then it is one teaspoon of turmeric. That one came out very well. So that's that. And then we want the zest of an orange, half an orange. I, I think when I first made this, I used tangerines. That doesn't work by the way. It needs to be an orange and this orange is well past its best. So a nice big fresh orange would work really, really well in this. So we just want the juice of half. Actually, because this is pretty sort of past its best, I might put a bit more in this because I think it's lost some of its um, 
freshness to be quite honest so that is that is all I'm going to do for the moment so I'm going to give this a quick stir around and just let it set and just let it marinate for a little while and that is basically the first part of the meal so let me just mix this around I'm going to let it marinate and then the next job is to finely slice this onion, only half the onion, and then soften it down. You do need to do that in this recipe, unfortunately, sorry. But yeah, the next job is to soften this onion down half of it. So once I come to that point, I'll come back and I'll video the rest of it for you. Catch you soon. Okay, the eagle eye view will have noticed I didn't add the garlic in the chilli. So I need to do that because that needs to go into this bowl. So what I've got is, as I say, I'm just using lazy garlic and I'm just going to add in sort of, I don't know, sort of two flat teaspoons. I'll just tilt this so you can see it. There we go. And I will also add some ginger now. You know, lazy ginger I find really does pack a punch. So again, just be really careful with how much you put in. I'm literally going to put that much in but what I am going to do is just chop it up very very quickly so this is going to equate to probably a flat teaspoon okay so that is the ginger that is going in and I will now give it a mix and I will now leave it to marinade and I'll come back to you when I've got it sorted everybody we're back and I'm gonna come to sort of the final bit if you like so I'll show you what I've got so far in here is the chicken stock cube with 300 millilitres of boiling water and then what I'm going to do is see if I can get it not all over me <laughs> is to squeeze in the juice of half the orange and if if you make this and you think, well, you needed a little bit more orange taste, you can always just add some marmalade to it, which is what I did the last time. It really does work well. So there we go. The next bit is just patience. And that is basically um, what is going to happen next. So what I'm going to do is that's the stock and the orange stirred. I'm going to take you with me round here. So on the hob, we've got the onion that I softened down earlier. Let me just tilt that back. And this is the chicken mix that I cooked off earlier. And I will add that in to the pan. Let's get some heat in that pan because there is no heat in it at the moment. And then basically all we're going to do is um, cook the chicken. And this is where the patience is needed because Obviously, the bigger the chicken chunks, the longer it's going to take to cook. So some of these I may just actually cut down to a smaller size. But all I'm really going to do is just let them sort of heat through a little bit. I'm going to add the stock to the pan, turn it down and just keep simmering it and simmering it and simmering it until the chicken is cooked. And then probably towards the end to get the stock to thicken up is to put some more heat into the pan and just really simmer it on a high heat to reduce this, reduce the sauce down, to be quite honest. But I'll just give this chicken a little bit of a sort of coating, if you like, just so it starts to, you can smell the, once you start smelling the spices, then you'll know that it's starting to get some heat through to it. And basically, all I'm gonna do now, it's the same as diet cook chicken, really. You're just gonna add, the stock and basically poach the chicken. So bring this to a boil. So bring this bring this to a boil and then reduce it to a simmer. Keep it at a simmer to make sure that the chicken is cooked and then once you know it's cooked turn the heat up and really get some heat into the sauce to bring it down and down and down Till you get it to where you want to be so basically that is where we're at and I'm going to carry on with this and once we get towards the end I'll come back to you and I'll show you how it looks 
Okay, so as you can see, I've reduced the sauce down. This is as far as I've let it go. I did add a teaspoon of marmalade because the oranges weren't that sweet. So I just sweetened it up by using a teaspoon of marmalade. So there you go, that is it, and I will show you how the finished dish looks.